Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Summoner's War on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Summoner's War and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Summoner's War. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, the first thing to do is to open our main browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's go to the current URL I'm highlighting in green. Now, you can discover on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, simply because there's the link in the video description and the first main comment. We ended up right here on our own internet site of Usatility, at which we have a meticulous explanation on how you can obtain Summoner's War on laptop or computer. We search down a tad and just click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on that link, we reach the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we will run to enjoy the game Summoner's War on our PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of pros of running the emulator. So we will start downloading the Summoner's War by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. The step is clicking on that button. And the download step takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the device. We have clicked yes. I minimize the browser to find the installation software better. The installer is very easy to use. It is made up of two possibilities, install and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path really does. We only click it. And then we observe that we, VE got here the path in which the emulator is going to be installed. If we would you like to modify this directory we have to click on this, browse, button, and therefore we decide on another directory and set up the emulator exactly where we would like. To keep it simple, just keep it where it is. Then, I click on back. So I just click on install. Voila! The install begins and it's going to proceed together with the download of all these megabytes which are shown on that computer screen. As you download it, it could possibly be more or less megabytes. The download speed will go at a higher speed or slower, determined by your connection and depending on the data transfer rate of the emulator web servers. At the moment they are going quite fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has been started on autopilot. As you can discover, down here, we have a progress bar which will move forward to the right and when it comes to the ending, the emulator is going to be launched for the very first time. The fact is the emulator has been started, here it is for the very first time. Before we carry on, as now you can see, it created two app icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be the one we're considering. Anytime we desire to run Summoner's War on the PC, we double-click on that app icon and consequently start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we perform the next phase, which is actually a requirement, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. Right here we have got to sign in. At this time once we're here, we must absolutely accomplish the following step that is obligatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. Presently it says, checking info. It can occasionally get stuck in, checking info, that's why it doesn't proceed. If that's the case, you may attempt to log in and after a number of hours and it will surely most likely be corrected. At this time we will type our email and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email and its related password. For instance you can utilize the exact same email address you use right now in your own YouTube account. Therefore I am going to enter my details and I'll return immediately after I have completed it. Voila, details typed in. Below is Google welcoming us and offering us the terms of service. 
We can consent to them all simply by pressing, I agree. Following that, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You can also leave it checked and it'll build a backup of the files on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. Google Play Store is started automatically and automatically. To set up the application, we have to visit the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking the icon designated green colored. At this point that we are watching the desktop of that Android emulator, we can see that we have there the install app game button. We then click on the button. On this page we get the game app. How about we click there on the install option that I am just presenting now in green. This action will begin the software installation. Straight away it will download and install the video game, it will take a little while or perhaps it might possibly be very quick. It again all will depend on on the web connection. It has already completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by hitting the following option that I'm highlighting in green, if you want to run Summoner's War for the very first time. We're currently on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're going to simply click the new Summoner's War software icon that's been generated. This game app is started for the first time. Here we have it, I am able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume level of this emulator. It is here. We use the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this manner we do not rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we will turn on the big screen, for which we have two choices. This one is the very first one, we mouse click on this particular icon that I'm mentioning in green color. Thus the screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Assuming that we aspire to experience the application in full screen, we click that app icon. And we'd at present be experiencing the game in full screen function. To leave the 100% screen setting, push the F11 key. And we might at present end up being in normal computer screen mode. At this point, I am starting to demonstrate you the keys mapping that is surprisingly appealing. This strategy we will likely be capable to make use of the game application more effortlessly. The first thing is to click on this application icon. And here you will have the ability to get the necessary setups. I'm going to keep the standard settings, though if you prefer to adjust that, you can do it now without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is totally in our own language. Occasionally it happens that the emulator is presented in the incorrect language, for instance, in Mandarin. And as a consequence to set it in the proper language we go there to the cogwheel. Then right here inside of many other settings, we just click the language drop down. We are able to pick the language we need, Spanish, Japanese, and so on. When the language is decided, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, along with the video game, the next time we use it, will also be in the picked language. At present, you can find another information that we must take into account, and this is that we will receive an email reporting that a brand new equipment has been connected with our Google account. It is going to ask us if we are the ones who have associated with that electronic device. Indeed, we ought not get worried, since the emulator is behaving like a Google Android electronic device. So you can discover which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we come here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Be sure to go here to the, model, selection. And there we determine that the emulator is emulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for our tutorial. I hope that you liked it, particularly that everyone thought it was helpful. In that case, bring it a good thumb up, subscribe, and if you have comments, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment field down below. You may also comment things on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams on occasion, you have it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of those video tutorials that are appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the future training videos. Bye.